Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I want to do the video to show you guys the bench that Debbie and I made. But before I go into the specifics about the bench, Jessie had her state swim tournament today. And would you like to show them what you got? She got the silver medal. Yay, Jessie! Yay! She's very excited. High five. I told her to swim like a muskie was chasing her toes. And she did, didn't you? So she wasn't far out of first place. But she did a great job. I thought I got fourth. Yeah, she thought she had fourth place. And then they called out her name for silver. And she got very excited. I cried. Yeah, she cried. So anyway, this is the bench we made. Um... Basically, what you need is uh, four bricks on the bottom on this on each side that face with the holes up, and then two with the holes facing out, and the four by fours go through to make your bench seat, and then the top one makes the backrest. Now, I got a couple suggestions here, and I didn't get the right bricks. Um, some of the bricks have move down here just have a flat finish on the front what I would do is look for all the bricks that have those for your front and for the top here for your top piece it just gives it a more finished look so when I go to get the bricks for the next one I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna get all new bricks for that and have a finished nice finished polished look so that's a little tip when you go to get your bricks. Um, people, a lot of people asked about the backrest and how, you know, how how it stays on there. Well, these four by four posts in there, these are the treated ones, and they are very heavy, um, much heavier than the standard regular four by four posts or the stained four by four posts because they're dipped to be treated and they're full of liquid, so they're very heavy. And this does move a little bit, but not very much. You can use Quickcrete to cement all this together. Um, those bottom four, you can fill them with sand or dirt to give more stability if you don't want to cement them because you might want to move the bench. So anyway, that's about it. Um, you need six 4x4 four four posts and 14 bricks to make each bench. Um, the, what I did is I got 10 foot posts and I got them at Home Depot and they cut them for me. That gave me the five foot, uh, five foot length. So, you know, you need, you need six posts. So I got three 10 footers and cut them in half had them cut them so I didn't have to worry about it and there you go and then we just threw the cushion on so and it sits right here in front of the water so there's our view beautiful day we're it's a wonderful day yep Jesse and I just started a fire in our fire pit and we're gonna barbecue up some pork steak or as Jesse calls it porky goodness porky goodness yep and then this is how it looks in the back and uh, it's kind of nice you can set your drinks here on the side or whatever you want to do and a lot of people asked how comfortable it is so would you like to give the opinion Jess very comfortable even take the cushion off try it without the cushion It's, it's pretty comfortable even without the cushion, isn't it? Yeah. So, I like them because they're portable, they're easy, they're cheap to make. You can put a cushion on, you can take the cushion off, it's just as comfortable. If you put a cushion on, you can lay down on them. If you make them 6 feet long, you could get the 12 foot 4 by 4s and make it I 6 feet long. I could lay down on this one. That's because you're a short runt. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there you go, guys. There you go. Now you got to see how we made it. 
you got all your parts lists. You got our championship swimmer. Yay! And that's all we got for you today. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.